Hello everybody, my name is Toph and this is going to be the summary of the Black Desert Online NA and EU patch notes for May 22nd, 2019. To start with, the Sicaria underwater ruins have been added finally and with it the Call of the Ocean event has started. During the Call of the Ocean event, when you complete the daily quest from Filiberto Falassi over in Port Ephiria, he will now have an additional daily called Missing Cargo. Completing this brief daily quest will give you the choice of one of these packs of materials that can be used to make a frigate. Even if you aren't going for a frigate, I'd probably recommend doing this anyway as all of these should sell pretty well in the marketplace. The second part of this event is that any of the trash items that can be obtained from the new three Sicaria grinding locations can be traded in for an ancient coin of the deep sea. These ancient coins of the deep sea can be vendored for 1.1 million silver or can be traded in in specific amounts for rarity boxes, a crescent guardian ring, memory fragments, a sailboat, or even a frigate. This event goes for about a month, so if you're interested in grinding out a frigate by simply grinding, this is the opportunity to do so. Lastly, a 7 day duration diving suit can be purchased during this event for 100 loyalties. Special attendance rewards, as shown below, will be offered these next few weeks. Additionally, for playing 3 hours every day the next 2 weeks, you'll be getting combat and life EXP scrolls as well as shakatu seals. As mentioned before, the underwater ruins have been added. For whatever reason, they didn't decide to include all the information on these on the patch notes, but instead they gave links to the official wiki pages as if anyone actually uses Black Desert Online's wiki instead of database. You'll find these links to the wiki pages in the description as well, and I might be making a brief guide as to how to access these areas if that's something that people would like. Lastly, the prices for main sub and awakening weapons will now all be the same for different classes. For example, the Aswell Longsword, Staff, and Craigsmeister's prices will all be adjusted together as one of them goes up or down. This has been implemented to stop the exploit where people were making billions of silver buying a weapon for one class using a weapon exchange coupon to change it to another one and then selling it back. In tandem with this update, they have removed the restriction on only buying one weapon exchange coupon per family. That's going to be it for this video everybody, I hope everyone that was excited for Sicario Ruins is going to have a great time grinding down there, I'll probably go check it out myself a little bit at least. If nothing else, there's a new ecology to be gained to make the 8000 grind a bit easier. Even if you're not interested in Sicario, once again I'd recommend at least checking out that daily quest over by Filiberto Falassi and Portofiria, or whatever the hell his name was. The rewards from that quest will fetch a pretty good price, and it probably won't take very long to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.